wanted to run We wanted to fall together Back then our world seemed so clear We were so bright Shimmering lights around us We take flight into the sky How many worlds would you cross To use the light that's right in front of you There is no light on the other side I say look straight ahead and you will see You will see It's Matt Martin with the Grass Factor bringing it inside today because we've got Hurricane Harvey going on outside. Uh, it seems like the majority of the wind came through yesterday and last night and uh, today we got a little bit of rain. Yesterday we got a little bit of rain. The day before that we got a little bit of rain. So while that's going on out there, I'm bringing it in here and I wanted to talk to y'all about my 2017 aeration overseed season. So as you can see in the video, uh, I got a brand new toy this year, that being the Toro Stand-On Ride-On Aerator. Um, I'll do a full review of that particular uh, uh, machine. Um, I'll get around to that. However, right now, I just kind of wanted to highlight why I went with a Toro versus the other machines that are out there. So first and foremost, I went with Toro because of uh, dealer support. I love my dealer here. Uh, we've got a great relationship and um, I know that if I ever have an issue with that machine, I can get it to them and get you know a resolution quickly. Secondly, I went with a Toro because of the tine spacing. I, I like the tine spacing. Some of the other machines on the market, <clears throat> I just haven't been super impressed with the tine spacing. So, um, that was one of the big contributing factors why I went with the Toro. And then third would be cost. Um, the price of that machine is, uh, is less than a lot of the other machines out there on the market right now. My cat keeps getting up in my grill. Um, and so yeah, third was price. It's uh, compared to the other machines, you know, it was, uh, it was at the low end of the price spectrum and being my first ride on machine and given the number of properties I had to do this year, you know, I wasn't willing to commit to something that cost $12,000 versus something, you know, well, after tax, you know, I'm probably up there $13,000, $14,000 versus something that I'm going to be spending $9,000 on. So anyway, all in all, super happy with that purchase. As you can see in the video, that was a single pass aeration on my yard. And uh, I mean, it did phenomenal. Uh, I, I was running it at 200 PSI 
And I mean, I was completely maxing it out at a solid three and a half inch core. In some areas, uh, other areas, I'd probably be at two, two and a half inches. So all in all, super happy with that machine. Uh, also, going to be going out with my Permagreen, of course. I'll be going out with both Permagreens. Uh, my guy and myself are each going to run, uh, have, a, have a Permagreen. We'll have one dedicated to seed. We will have one dedicated to uh, fertilizer and the next RGS humic acid product. Um, I have not picked up my seed yet. However, I have gone and sourced it. And what I am going to be going out with this is going to be starting on Monday, is a, it's going to be a three seed blend. No, it's not Pete Denny's, but it's going to be pretty similar to what he's going to be running. Um, I'm actually going to be putting down, um, it'll be a Falcon 4. It will also be a Spider LS. That's the lateral spread. And I believe the third variety is going to be Scorpion or Firecracker, one of the two. Um, Anyway, it's, it's going to be a super, super awesome seed variety. I'm, I'm glad to be trying it out. Uh, I bought seed from these people last year, um, and I did not get my entire seed order, uh, order from them. And, uh, and I wish I would have because, you know, the bulk order of my seed, um, I sourced from another vendor, and it was just, it was, it was really poor performing in terms of establishment uh, on the seedling vigor scale uh it was ranked really poor on the intep trials so you know this year i'm not going to make that mistake again i'm going to go with things that score really well in seedling vigor and brown patch resistance um so that's going to be my seed variety uh the machine the seed are all coming from dickens turf this year you've seen me mention them before um and in terms of starter fertilizer so i'm a no phosphorus kind of guy um, the reason being is that the overwhelming majority of our soils are going to be uh, high in phosphorus. Occasionally, from time to time, I'll come across a property that's low in phosphorus. Typically, that's going to deal in new construction uh, where everything has been scraped from the surface. Um, however, even then, that's, that's really, really rare. And uh, I can get into more and more specifics as to why I don't believe in supplementing phosphorus for turf grass. Uh, but that'll be a, a different video for a later day. So what I'm going to be going out with will be a half pound of N. At the same time uh, I'm applying a half pound of N, I will also be applying the next RGS from Green County Fertilizer that I talked about before in the humic acid video. Um, and I'll be applying that at one gallon to the acre. And the reason why I'm doing it this way is the next RGS is going to have humic acid in it. The next RGS is going to have the kelp in it. The benefit of applying the humic acid with the nitrogen is going to be the carbon and the humic acid uh, tying up that nitrogen and basically giving it an extended release. Uh, also, the kelp are, is going to supply beneficial growth hormones to those new seedlings as they, as they come up and need to get established there's going to be uh, an increase in cytokinins available to allow that plant establishment and maturation to take place. Also with the humic acid, we have the potential ability for it to chelate certain macro and micronutrients that are locked up in the soil. Hence, it could turn to that, that phosphorus and be able to help unlock it. Typically, the way that's going to work is as those root hairs form and they come in contact with a, uh, an unusable form of uh, phosphorus. This is your phosphorus. This is your turf grass root hairs. As it comes into contact with the phosphorus, a chemical reaction takes place. A hormone is sent from the plant to this to help break apart the phosphorus and turn it into a usable form. Uh, so the goal would be hopefully that the humic acid plus the combination of the root hairs is really going to make that phosphorus that is there plant available and help those plants reach maturity as quickly as possible without having to supplement it. So that's going to be my setup this year. Uh, in terms of an end source, I'm going to be going with a, um, uh, with it's going to be sourced from urea this round and then probably starting next round, I'll begin going with, uh, I'll begin going with ammonium sulfate in conjunction with the RGS. 
Kind of the way my program is shifting from this point forward is I'm going to be getting away from the quote unquote true organics and be moving more towards uh, you know lower rates of nitrogen in combination with uh, this next RGS product. I'm a big believer in it and so I'm going to shift my program that direction and of course I'll document the whole thing with y'all. So anyway, that's going to be it. That's my 2017 aeration overseed season set up. Um, I can't wait. As soon as I get some, uh, I'm going to go pick up seed on Monday and, uh, and I will, uh, you know, get some, some videos based on what the, what the tags and labels are showing me and, uh, hopefully get some, some good footage showing you what exactly we're going to have going on with the, um, uh, with the aeration season. So anyway, y'all, I appreciate you watching. If you could do me a favor, please click that subscribe button. It lets me know to keep going. Please send a comment to me down below or send me an email to grassfactor at gmail.com and click that like button. Again, the more interaction I get from y'all, the more, the more positive ways this channel grows, the more I'm encouraged to keep going. So anyway, y'all, I really, really, really appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a good one.